If you are experiencing hair loss, you are not alone. In fact, more than 37 million Americans over the age of 18 report some trouble hearing. Hearing aids can help those suffering from mild to moderate hearing loss, but sometimes they just aren't enough. Enter cochlear implants. They help those with profound hearing loss achieve significant gains in sound awareness and speech understanding. And here to talk to us today about the benefits of cochlear implants is Dr. Jacques Herzog, who is the medical director of the Cochlear Implant Center at St. Luke's Hospital. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. I really love this topic. I have a family member very close to me who deals with hearing loss, and it can be so frustrating for everyone around them and them especially. What exactly is though a cochlear implant? Well, a cochlear implant is an electronic device that actually allows us to create hearing for people with severe to profound hearing loss. There's actually two parts to a cochlear implant. One is an external device that we call a speech processor that has a microphone that processes the sound. Mm -hmm. And then there's an internal device you place in surgery through a very small incision behind the ear as a receiver stimulator, and then the electrode that we pass into the cochlear, the inner ear. How exactly are these different from the traditional hearing aids? Well, there's two parts to our hearing, the ability to hear a sound and the ability to understand a sound. Now, hearing aids are basically a microphone, an amplifier, and a speaker. Now, we can digitize the message and filter it, but that's basically what they do. So they make sound louder, but in most cases cannot improve word understanding. So as word understanding begins to deteriorate over time in many individuals, the only solution is a cochlear implant in which we're able to electronically stimulate the various portions of the cochlea to provide better uh, speech understanding. And with that, what are some other benefits that patients receive after they do get the cochlear implant? Well, the biggest problem with hearing loss, you categorize in two groups of patients. One are those who are born with hearing loss, mm -hmm. the children, and, and we allow them, allow them to turn hearing on with the device. The other is adults and who develop progressive hearing loss over time. What happens is they, they find themselves falling into a world of silence mm -hmm. and actually depression. And we found that there's actually cognitive uh, difficulties as a result of that. Cochlear implants allow us to turn the hearing back on. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we're actually able to maintain cog cognitive function and in many cases actually improve patients' cognitive uh, difficulties. And it just makes their lives so much easier, I would imagine. As you had said, it's a total game changer. Mm -hmm. We allow people to, to re resume their, their lives and, 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 and very actively so in, in social situations and so forth. Who is a good candidate for this? Well, so the people always ask me, how do we know if somebody's a cochlear implant mm -hmm. candidate or not? The simple thing is, can they talk on a telephone? Because remember, there's two parts to our hearing, the ability to hear a sound, the ability to understand a sound. Now, if you can't talk on a telephone, that's when you have trouble understanding those words. Mm -hmm. And so that's our basic initial screen that we talk about, that function and noise and loss of ability to appreciate music. Mm -hmm. And then we go forward with a battery of tests. And then so many people wonder about payments. Is this something that insurance covers? Virtually all insurance companies and Medicare cover it. Our okay. staff is very good at, at, at uh, attaining predetermination of the benefit and then determining what out-of-pocket expenses there may be. Dr. Herzog, it's fascinating and can definitely have such a positive impact for people. Thank you very much. And to get in contact with St. Luke's, simply go to stluke's-stl.com slash cochlear or call the number on your screen 314-453-0001. Matt and Kent? You know, what's amazing is when these cochlear implants first came out, mm -hmm. it seemed impossible. And I'm thinking, well, all they're going to hear is some buzzing or humming noise right. or whatever. Right. And now they're fine tuning these things. So it's unbelievable. It's crazy, yeah. the technology. Yeah. It's so good. That's my ear doctor. I know it is. <laughs> I didn't even know he was here until about 10 minutes ago. I, I feel terrible. Is. Nice job, he Dr. Said you're Herzog. Said you're 150 bucks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where's it? Checks first in the mail. Thing, first words out of his mouth. Where's the copay, pal? Checks in the mail. I promise. <laughs> I got six kids. What do you want? Oh, boy.